Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you a science fiction horror film, The Void. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. A young man, Simon, and his father are chasing a girl and a meth head in the cabin in the middle of the woods. At the cabin's door, a triangle mark is noticeable. The father shoots the girl in the leg, making her unable to run away. On the contrary, the meth head is able to run away in the woods. The father tells Simon to pour gasoline on the girl, Simon obliges. Despite the girl's constant begging for her life, the father proceeds to burn her. After that, they drive away from the cabin to chase the meth head, who runs away. Meanwhile, a cult member comes to watch the girl burn to death. Possibly, Simon's mother and his baby sibling get murdered by the cult members, so Simon and his father are coming after the cult members to seek vengeance. The girl and the meth head in the cabin are somehow possibly involved in the cult, as the cabin has a triangle sign, similar to the mask of the cult member. On the other side of the woods, an officer encounters the bloody meth head on the roadside. He tries to ask the meth head what happened, but he decides to bring him to the hospital first. The only option is the nearest hospital, which is almost abandoned following a fire incident, so only a few staff and some patients occupy it. They eventually arrive at the hospital's emergency station. The nurse, who is also the officer's wife, takes care of the meth head. In the lobby, a young pregnant lady is about to give birth, and her grandpa is waiting for the sole doctor in the hospital. In the other room, a bored medical intern who does not have any practical medical knowledge is teasing the teenage patient, since the hospital staff don't let her do anything. The meth head wakes up and starts fighting back to the doctor. So, the doctor injects sedatives into him that instantly put him asleep. The doctor says that he possibly had a traumatic experience recently and tells the officer that he needs a while before he can interrogate the meth head. After that, the doctor proceeds to advise the officer that he needs to be gentle to his wife because she might not have moved on yet from their baby's death. Apparently, the officer's wife lost their baby during pregnancy recently. The doctor's advice is based on his own experience because the doctor also lost his daughter not long ago. Soon after, the officer is walking in the hallways when he hears something strange in the patient's room. He then checks the room, and to his surprise, the colleague is stabbing the eyes of the teenage patient with a scissor. The colleague faces the officer, revealing her skinless face. She then removes the remaining skin on her face. She seems to be out of herself, and tries to attack him with a scissor. In response, the officer shoots her to death. The gunshot calls the attention of everyone in the hospital, so they come to check. The officer comes to the restroom, and begins to vomit. Suddenly, he passes out and dreams about a vast wasteland and a dark sky above it. The doctor and the nurse soon come to wake him up. The state trooper also arrives there and interrogates the officer about the incident. After he explains the incident, the state trooper reprimands him and confiscates his gun because of his shitty response to the situation. Apparently, the state trooper originally goes to interrogate the meth head, as the state trooper suspects that he was responsible for the bloodbath in the cabin. The state trooper also speculates that he gave meth to the colleague, causing her to act strangely. After discovering that the hospital's telephone line is down, the officer heads to his car outside to report the incidents to the station, but he gets no response. He then sees a cult member standing still in front of the car. As he gets out of the car to confront the cult member, a horn sound starts playing and the lights suddenly turn off. The cult member attacks the officer and stabs him with a sharp blade that slowly penetrates through his flesh. Fortunately, he is able to push away the cult member in time. He stands up and sees several more cult members standing still. So he heads back inside the hospital, where the doctor and the nurse immediately treat his stab wounds. Soon after, the officer says that they need to barricade the door to prevent the cult members from going inside, as they plan a way to escape out of the hospital. Suddenly, they hear the handcuffed meth head screaming from the room. The officer and the state trooper respond, and they witness that the colleague transforms into a monstrous creature. The state trooper shoots it, but it remains unmoved. So the officer removes the meth head from the handcuff, and they lock the creature inside the room. When the officer gets an axe, Simon and his father suddenly arrive, trying to take the meth head away. In response, the meth head hostages the pregnant lady. As the doctor tries to calm down the meth head, the meth head instantly slits his throat, leading to his eventual death. The grandpa punches the meth head, freeing the pregnant lady from him. In the midst of the commotion, the creature escapes and grabs the state trooper away, using its tentacles. The creatures proceed to stab the state trooper's eye until he dies. The officer attempts to help with his axe, but the creature slaps him away. Simon and his father come to the rescue. The father shoots the creature's organ, making its blood splatter. After that, Simon and his father repeatedly smash the creature with the axe until it dies. Fearing that the dead state trooper might transform into a creature, the father cuts its head off and eventually burns its body. After that, Simon and his father want to take the meth head away, but the officer prevents them. 
They then threaten to kill the officer, as they seem to be hostile to strangers. Apparently, someone betrayed them, and injured Simon's vocal cords making him unable to speak. But the officer soon convinces them to team up, so they can all escape from the hospital. They then stay in the same room together to stay safe. However, another problem arises, as the pregnant lady needs to give birth through a cesarean process. So the nurse needs to get a medicine supply to help the pregnant lady deliver the baby in time, or else the pregnant lady or the baby will die. The officer then instructs his nurse wife to wait while he gets the shotgun in his car outside, so they can safely get the medicine supply. The officer, with Simon and his father, heads outside to get the shotgun. Meanwhile, the nurse proceeds to get the medicine supply alone, without waiting for the officer. As she gets the medicine supply on the shelf, the doctor, who appears to resurrect from death, appears behind her and abducts her. Outside, the three get the shotgun and ammunition supplies from the car. A troop of cult members appears in front of them, seemingly watching them. Suddenly, a cult member attacks Simon from behind. Luckily, the officer shoots it to death instantly. They then head back inside, where the officer finds his nurse wife already gone. So the officer and Simon's father decide to look for her in the medical supply room. As they search through the hallways, they suddenly hear the telephone rings. The officer answers the call, and the call turns out to be from the doctor. The doctor reveals that he is the cult founder, and he was responsible for the colleague's monstrous transformation after her death. He then says that his intentions are altruistic, and the officer will soon understand. Meanwhile, the father takes a look at the photos in the table, showing the images related to the cult. At this point, the officer learns that the doctor abducts the nurse, his wife. Therefore, the officer, with Simon and his father, decides to search together, while leaving the radio for the intern as a communication device. The three proceed to interrogate the meth head for information about the cult, which could possibly help them survive the creatures. As they threaten to hammer his finger, he spills that he joins the girl to the cult cabin, thinking that there is a free meth giveaway. But to his surprise, he witnesses an unspeakable horror there, as he is forced by the cult to watch the gruesome cult activities of sacrifices and killings. After that, the three bring the meth head with them, when they head down the basement to confront the doctor. The intern instructs them on the radio that they will see a room after going down the stairs. But to their surprise, they only see a hallway that leads to another stair going down. They courageously walk downstairs the dark hallways, until they reach a ritual place. The meth head recognizes that the ritual place looks exactly like the basement of the cabin, reminding him of the terror he witnessed there. Meanwhile, the nurse wakes up in a secret operating room in the basement, seeing the doctor in front of her. She then asks how the doctor was able to resurrect. The doctor then reveals that after his daughter's death, he realizes nature's futility. As a result, he aims to overcome nature to resurrect his daughter. He then did a lot of experiments, resulting in failures. Some of his subjects from the failed experiments remain as weird creatures, staying in the basement that also leads to the fire accident. But one day, he successfully overcomes nature, after discovering a reality outside of nature called the Void. The Void gives the doctor access to resurrection by transforming the dead into a different creature. This leads to the creation of the cult, as the doctor convinced people that the resurrection equates to salvation. What's more, the void seemingly affects the landscape of reality as the doctor's basement moved from the cabin to the hospital. In order to resurrect his daughter, the doctor possibly implanted his daughter's tissue into the nurse's womb. As a result of the implant, a creature begins to grow inside the nurse's womb. On the other side, the four men enter the creepy door with a triangle sign, revealing a horrifying scene of the mutilated bodies from the doctor's failed experiments. Suddenly, the mutilated bodies begin moving and slowly march towards them. Simon then immediately shoots the smelly zombies one after the other. The father hallucinates and sees his wife and their baby on the other side, making him unconsciously walk towards them. On the corner, the creepy zombie grabs away the helpless meth head and smashes his head to the floor until he dies. Meanwhile, the pregnant lady is suffering from severe pain as she is about to give birth. However, the intern hesitates to take action, since she does not have any practical knowledge. As the grandpa forces the intern to do something, the pregnant lady miraculously gains strength to slit his throat, leading to his death. Possibly, the doctor also implanted his daughter's tissue into the pregnant lady, as she declares that she carries his daughter. And also, the pregnant lady acts out of herself, and joins the two cult members who await her. Outside, more cult members are standing still, so the intern locks herself inside the room out of fear. Back to the basement, Simon follows his father, and soon finds the place changed into their family house. At this point, the doctor seemingly penetrates the mind of Simon and his father, making them hallucinate. The doctor aims to remind Simon's father of his guilt, for his absence when his family got murdered. The father starts blaming Simon for the death of the family members, because Simon left home during the time they got murdered. The father then attacks Simon, but Simon lights up the flare and burns his stomach. 
As a result of the pain, the father regains his awareness and their hallucination stops, so the place transitions back to the basement. The father then apologizes for attacking Simon. Meanwhile, the officer finally finds his wife in the operating room, pregnant with their baby. But it turns out he's just hallucinating, since in reality, a creature has already been born out of his wife. What's more, the doctor also penetrates his mind, making him hallucinate. The officer begins hearing the doctor's voice out of nowhere, reminding him about their dead baby. This makes the officer feel that he is responsible for the death of their baby. He then instantly feels guilty, which triggers his violent tendencies and makes him repeatedly smash his wife using an axe. Apparently, the doctor uses the officer's guilt to awaken his violent tendencies, driving the officer into murdering someone. The murdered wife acts as a sacrifice to the Void, so the officer will have the blessings of the Void, giving him a chance for life after death. It is then revealed that the doctor's intention in manipulating people's minds into killing is to give them resurrection through the Void's blessing, because he believes that their resurrection equates to their salvation from nature's futility. After that, the place suddenly turns into a room with a mysterious large triangle in the wall. The doctor's voice from somewhere explains to the officer that he finally conquers life and death after the Void blessed him. So now he has the capacity to get his dead daughter back. Right then, the pregnant lady with a forced smile arrives and lightly stabs the officer from behind. The doctor, seemingly in his final form, reveals himself, and the pregnant lady walks towards him. The doctor then chants to the large triangle, making the triangle slowly reveal a portal. After that, the doctor's daughter finally comes out of the pregnant lady, revealing the daughter as a massive, monstrous creature. Simon and his father arrive at the scene and shoot at the creature. So the creature begins chasing them. As they try to run away, it uses its strong tentacles and grabs the father. The father shoots it, but it remains unmoved. So he pours alcohol into its tentacles and orders Simon to burn him and the creature. Simon hesitates, but he eventually obliges to his father's wish after seeing his father in great pain. The father burns to death, and the creature screams in agony. Simon then crawls to the vent to escape. On the other hand, the doctor convinces the officer to stop resisting his way towards salvation, so he can reunite with his wife. However, he throws the monstrous doctor an axe and pushes it into the portal with him, before the triangle door closes. After that, the basement starts shaking as Simon is running away from the chasing creature. The walls of the doctor's cult basement begin closing out. Luckily, Simon escapes in time, while the closing wall traps the smelly creature. He then finds himself back in the hospital, where he finally reunites with the intern. The weird creatures are gone together with the doctor's cult basement. The void has possibly taken away the doctor and lost its influence on reality. So everything is now back to normal as if nothing happened. The officer and his wife reincarnate in an alternate reality, where they hold hands together while looking at the massive pyramid in front of them. In the end, their existence is uncertain, as they exist in a world where there is no beginning nor end. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.